what I think um, aging in Cheshire has done for me is that if you look, you will find those opportunities and you will have to um, not so much challenge but question those parameters that keep you old. Because in the end, I think, except for physical ability, nothing is age related. One of the best things is this open up, eh? Yeah, it is. This is one of the best things that we've found. You know, mm -hmm. really marvelous. And all, all lads, it's, there's lots of servicemen, ex more Yeah, I like that. We talk about you services. Just said ex servicemen. Active service lads like myself. They talk the same language as us. Yeah. I understand you, you understand me, because yeah. I talk service. A friend of mine who was a county councillor said that um, Cheshire County Council had um, set up an older people's network. Could she give my name to the, the facilitator? And when I see her now, I point out to her that she completely changed my life. And it, uh, I was taken over virtually by the Older People's Network, now 50 Plus Network, and um, seeing your voice, but I'm not complaining. The small workers used to have to take me out all the time. And then somebody introduced me to this over 50s, and again I was, no, because I don't like mixing, seeing people. I know it's unbelievable, but it's true. But since I've come here, I've been able to come out a bit more than I did before, mm -hmm. and to meet the lads and talk to them, it made me feel great, and then after this I go back home and that's... But I love coming out to meet the lads, and talking, because I don't talk to anybody. Yeah. Well you've got company you see, haven't you? Yeah. And you've got similar to, to your age. Yeah. But it's nice when you can sit there and talk to one another. Yeah. It is. What was you in and what was you out and where was you in? And yeah, well, but you know one another then. And you can trust one another. That's it. You know, trust it's a, lot. a big word. Help if you need any help, you've got it. No. You don't go on striking or anything like that. You're better coming down here than sitting at home on your own. Which is where I live in a, a sheltered type accommodation at Alderley Edge there. Brilliant place. If you want to make friends, this is the place to come and talk. Yeah. You don't have to see them afterwards, just while you're here we have a good chat, good talk. And we trust each other, we know each other. We're all in the same boat, as they say. So has retirement been a positive, positive thing? thing? As regards this, this, this helps retirement. That's what I'm trying to get across. You don't just do a job and that's it. You're talking like we are now. Mm -hmm. And that atmosphere to me is bringing me out more. Because all I did was I said I'd sit in my workshop and that'd be it. See nobody, talk to nobody. And I don't go out because I'm not very steady on my legs. And but in here, I forget about it and I'm happy. <clears throat> it's just like, you know, getting on back home with the lads. Now it's education again. So it keeps your mind active, busy, and That's certainly it. Yes. we talk to one another and it makes brilliant. Walk up or down, you know, when you're coming out, walk up or down that mention. Yeah. We haven't got to go, but we want to go. No, I can't get out quick enough. <laughs> well, I like how um, Edith came to Macclesfield um, over 40 years ago due to work. And I worked out in the community for a big uh, chunk of my life and decided that um, I would have a change in direction. I wasn't going to retire. I'd have a change in direction when I reached the grand old age of 60. And I realised that, um, well, I really wanted to use some of my experience, not expertise from a job, but experience from a job. And I've joined all sorts of things. But I think, I think like I it, 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 You've got to get out there and look at these things. They said, take a hobby up, and I said, I haven't got a hobby. And they just made pottery. I got into that. I got my own workshop. 
Well, that's where I'm by myself. I go in, I see nobody, I talk to nobody, I'm in there, I'm alright. And then this was the first place they brought me out to try to get me, what's the word you said, mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't mix with people. And as you can gather now, I'm able to talk to you, and, but before I'd be up in that corner and I wouldn't move or talk. I thought, right, what am I going to do? So I looked round for charity work, and oh, I didn't want to serve in the shop. There was lots of things I couldn't do. And then I found activity in retirement. Just started two years before I retired, uh, 1989. Little fledgling society, literally going on for activities. Uh, which is what I, as a physiotherapist, is what I was interested in. And I very quickly got embroiled in it. And now it is um, reduced down at the moment to 900 strong. We're running about 32 activities a week in various parts of Macclesfield. Something for everything, from calligraphy to country dancing. I run myself a bridge group on a Thursday. And I also run a keep fit for older people on a Friday morning. Uh, in addition to all the other keep fit classes, Tai Chi, everything. Uh, all in all, I wonder how on earth I ever find time to work. I enjoyed my retirement thoroughly. Uh, but I do think you have to pay for retirement. You've got to save your money so you've got enough money to live on and not depend on other people. And really prepare your house and your home for getting older. For instance, recently I have had put in a stair lift because I live in a house. And I've also had my bathroom changed to a shower room because it is essential that we prepare for getting old and wonder. Um, we're not old when we first retire, anything but. Old is in your mind. You have to keep young and enjoy life. Get, take out of it what you put into it. In the past, I have led um, quite an active life. I was uh, made the Air Force my career, and it was a shock when I retired. Um, they didn't give us any preparation for it and um, I've always felt very isolated especially because I don't drive, no computer and at the moment I currently spend between um, 50 and 70 pounds on taxi fares because I can't walk very well so it's, I've, I've found it uh, very hard I can't join in a lot of activities and uh, of course can't go to church anymore no, no, um, because I can't walk and there's no uh, bus service on a Sunday. So yes, I, I feel quite isolated since my retirement. You can be as busy or as relaxed as you want in retirement. I don't think you need to do anything if you don't want to do, but you can be very busy as well. I mean, it's, you just have to measure your time and not let other people take it without you saying you're going to do th something, you, um, you know, you d there's a lot of people need help, a lot of older people that feel quite isolated, that they can't get out of the house because of health or age, they're getting in their 80s, and, you know, you can call on them, do you want anything? It's, you, you can just do what you want when you're ageing. I don't think you have to be organised. You, you, it depends on yourself. It's your responsibility. Well, I used to do a bit of gardening. Mm. So that's for the people and the, the building where I live, which is uh, Cheshire Peaks and Plains. So it's a lot of old people there. And I decided to do gardening and uh, then there, 12 months, we won first, uh, second prize for the gardens. So, you know, it, once again, it's who you live with and you associate with. Do a bit of shopping for the old girls, just from going out. You know, it's perhaps of working together and help one another. I think about, again, about the about mental uh, attitude to be an old. It's just not just you who are old. You live in a society and you have something to contribute to that society. So don't think that because you're old, everybody's got to come and help you. You've done well got to go out and help someone else. Around how we're all dressed now uh, that, uh, 20, well, say 40 years ago, we'd have all looked old. 
now we don't, we, because of our attitude, because of society's attitude to older people, they no longer are really older people. I know we keep on hearing this about age and this, that and the other, but in fact, there are so many of us now that we dominate the um, population almost, uh, so there is a difference in attitude about aging. Some of us here, we're very fortunate, we can afford a car and we can still drive a car. You have this aging thing that is attached, not to ability, but to years. We are people in our own rights, and if something's happening that we don't agree with, we should query it and not just sit back and accept. And I think a lot of old people sit back and accept, whereas some of us go out and say, why? Why is this happening? What can we do about it? To be addressed, to look at the whole person, and not just, have they got to 60 and are they, are they getting the state pension? Because that's what that word age sits in people's minds. You know, and, and, and like we were dis discussing before, Beryl was saying, the one thing you're sure of is you start ageing from the moment of conception. Mm -hmm. So, what is ageism?